live from ClickOrlando.com and WKMG. We're getting results in your neighborhood now at 530. Now at 5.30, calls for safety changes along a busy Osceola County road. It comes from a crossing guard who knows firsthand about the dangers. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. She was hit on the job back in 2020, police say, by a red light runner. The terrifying moments happened along 192, which is also known as 13th Street at Michigan Avenue in St. Cloud. It's about a half mile from three different schools. That former crossing guard contacted News 6 and ClickOrlando.com asking why can't they slow the speed on State Road 192 in Michigan. She added drivers need to slow down at crosswalks for kids to school there. News 6's Jarrell Baker went for answers for Rebecca and found out there was a different tragedy just yards away on the same road. Driving down 13th Street can be a nightmare. But crossing 192 on foot could cost you your life. Just ask Rebecca Leish. Oh, see, and he just ran that red light. Mm. Shame on him. Rebecca helped students cross 13th Street and Michigan Avenue as a crossing guard for a decade until she was hit while on duty by a driver running a red light in 2020. I had a punctured lung, um, I three broken ribs, um, my hand, I've had a f five surgeries on my hand. Um, unfortunately, my hand is too damaged to, to do any more. It's why Rebecca reached out to News 6 to push for change. You want to turn this into a school zone, not only because of the speed, but also because we have a couple of different schools in the area around here. Yes, that's correct. Down uh, Michigan, on the right side is the high school, and on the left side is uh, the middle school, and then right next to it is the elementary school. We called FDOT about about lowering the speed limit on 192 and learned just a few blocks down the road, 16 year old Joshua Leonese died after being hit biking across the roadway. Such a tragedy. Um, it's hard to get through every day without him. I get reminders every day. FDOT says this caused them to do a study in 2019 for ways to improve safety on the state road. I started just sitting up here and watching other people cross a few near misses, took pictures, took videos, and contacted FDOT. We're driving up to Florida Avenue right here along 13th Street. And as I come up to the intersection, I can see the sign very clearly up there saying don't turn right. And when the light changes, there will be a sign saying that you should look out for pedestrians. Since then, they've made several improvements, including adding signals and lighting, blank out signs for no turn on red, and reflective back plates. The ladies are happy to see the improvements, but they still want more to be done. They still travel way too fast along here, and I've seen many, many uh, cars run those red lights still. FDOT officials say they're still planning to add more safety measures, including reconstructing medians and Z-pattern high-emphasis crosswalks. In St. Cloud, Jarrell Baker getting results, News 6. Wow, that's terrible. And they need yeah. more than a crossing guard. They need a law enforcement officer out there every day, which I know is impossible because they kind of need to be everywhere. It's true. Yeah, um, and these but, crossing guards are like sitting ducks. Uh, well, and like the that. combination of speed and just distractions. You know, she that lady is really lucky that she is still alive. Spot. I'm yeah. glad she spoke to us yeah. and told us about this. Really, this is about awareness. Traffic safety expert Trooper Steve went to check some of the changes on that road. Yeah, and we wanted to get more perspective on the changes as well as a look at the speed and how close it is to the schools. Here's a snippet of this drive this morning around 10 a.m. Now, when you're headed westbound on 192, you have to make sure you're paying attention because the speeds do change. When you're coming in from the westbound direction out here, speed limit's about 55, then jumps to jumps down to 45, and then right here at Delaware, we're at a 40 mile an hour speed limit. A lot of people would look at this going, man, I've got three lanes to continue going westbound. I must be faster. It is not. It is 40 miles per hour. And we need to also think about morning and evening commutes. There's going to a lot of be a lot of extra people on the road. So as we continue westbound and we begin to approach Michigan, I can already start seeing the signs that are saying, hey, watch out, pedestrians out here, right? Look to the far right. 
a pedestrian sign there. Then an extra marking letting you know, look, there is a crosswalk in this area. Now this is the intersection where that crossing guard was unfortunately struck. And guys, when I tell you that this crash was nasty, this crash was nasty. Uh, she was severely injured. Thank goodness she is still with us to tell the story. But something like this is preventable when you're paying attention to the roadway. Look here what they've also put in. They've put in more markings for the pedestrians themselves. If you look out here, the that uh, kind of yellow stanchion sticking out, that barrier there, that's not only to give signs to the pedestrians, hey, stay out of the road, but it's there for you as well, letting you know, look, pull further out, make a wider turn so that pedestrian vehicle traffic is not interacting. A big thing to keep in mind here in St. Cloud, when you're on 192, things look very smooth. The second you turn off, you become embedded in a residential area. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we turn south here on Michigan, and immediately you go from 40 mile an hour to only a two lane road to 25 miles per hour. So now as you're traveling south here, you must make a mental adjustment that, hey, I'm no longer out on a big road. I'm driving in someone's community. I'm driving in the areas that lead to the school. There are sidewalks located on both sides of the roadway here. Speed limit is 25. And then when the school zone is activated right here, it turns to 15 miles an hour when it is active. Hmm. It's Interesting. Also, it is, yeah. and it's also a reminder uh, if you have kids who will be walking to school to have a very long conversation with them about being safe, watching for other drivers, not being on their phone not as being, they walk or across with the, the street, yes. in, or just and, assuming because you're in a crosswalk that people are going to stop. And I always tell my kids if you can avoid walking near busy roads, sometimes you have to cross one, yeah. but also just wait to make sure everyone is stopped before you step out in the road. Yeah, Rebecca is going to join Trooper Steve on patrol this upcoming Tuesday for the start of school. They will talk about safety, especially as a former crossing guard. We're excited to hear from her on that. You can watch Trooper Steve on patrol live weekdays at 8 a.m. That's on clickorlando.com and the News 6 Plus app.